up, guys? Good morning. Sean Linda here. About to get some back in. My trainer, Marco Rivera. What's up, guys? So, a uh, few weeks away from uh, Nationals down in Florida. And uh, just got to make sure I come proper. So, just going to get it done today. Some of the exercises you're going to see is just going to help me to look the way I'm supposed to look. We're going we're gonna to work a series of exercises focusing on, on more thickness for the back. So today is going to be a pretty heavy day. Um, the intensity is going to be relatively high. Sh rest period is going to be pretty short. So uh, check us out and hit us back. Let us know what you think, OK? Thank you. Thanks. Show two weeks. You should go. What's up, guys? Sean Linder here again, just finishing up back with Marco Rivera. It's pretty intense. Pretty brutal, but it's what it take when you want to get to that next level. So uh, I'll let Marco get into some of the exercise that we just uh, got done doing. What's up, MD? Uh, Marco Rivera coming at you out of here from, from Star Fitness in the Bronx. Um, just uh, helping Sean start to uh, begin his dialing in process for the, uh, for the Nationals coming down to Miami now, which is going to be a, a tremendous show. It's actually one of my favorite shows, being that I won it back in 2011 in the same in the same venue. So I'm really excited for him, and you know our our expectations for him going into the show is it's uh, it's very overwhelming. Um, he's he's worked very hard to get where he's at, and nothing has happened by coincidence. It's all been through just straight hard work, dedication, and perseverance throughout day in and day out. So you know he, he's here because he belongs here. And the outcome come nationals is going to be because, because he deserves it and, uh, and nothing less. Um, the exercises we, we executed today, it uh, was, was pretty, a lot of basic movements, bent over rows, deadlifts. Uh, the pace was fairly fast. Rest periods were, were no more than maybe a, mi a minute in between sets. And uh, when you're training all the way up to bent over rows for four or five and, and uh, deadlifting five plates, literally one exercise after the next, it, it, it puts a pretty big dent in, in any type of back training. Um, I, like to, I like to give thanks to Juan Morrell to just kind of give me a little bit of input in that. Um, yeah, obviously, he's developed a tremendous back and has been through a lot of the series of exercises that he executes and a lot of heavy movements on early and keeping the intensity you know, really high. So um, we, we, we executed some, we started with pull-ups, Okay, just to warm up our back, get our lower lats uh, nice and pumped, full of blood, and uh, more importantly, start to warm up our joints, getting ready for the for the movement, which uh, which was bent over rows. Um, I generally don't do bent over rows as a first exercise. Today we're doing that because we're we're focusing on on density. You know, we're trying to keep Sean as big as we can going into the show as he's leaning out and. And uh, keeping that size is going to be very, very important considering what happened at the USA's. So our objective is, is condition, most importantly, and then obviously the thickness and size coming right after that. Because nationals, if uh, I've, you, you, know, you see it time and time again, doesn't matter how big you are, if you don't come in fully conditioned, man, you're not going to really make any noise. So conditioning is first and foremost, and then size and density is afterwards. With the deadlifts, uh, it was our second exercise, and uh, that woke us up. That woke us up bad. So, you know, executing that movement is not as bad as when you're executing it right after bent over rows. It definitely puts a you know pretty big impact on your back, and uh, I can I can assure you that Sean is going to be showing up with a much thicker back than he did at the USA's, and. I'm going to owe a lot of it to incorporating these deadlifts and these bent over rows together, together at the same time. So for those of you that have never tried it, I suggest you do so. But prior to doing so, make sure you eat. Eat a lot of food, digest properly, then come in and do it. If not, you're not going to have a good day, I assure you. All right, 
right, so my boy Sean Lindo here is, uh, is on his way to the, to the Nationals down in Miami. Um, we're expecting a very, very special outcome that day. Uh, we're going to monitor everything very, very carefully, and that's pretty much the secret to what we do. It's just the fact that we have really, really good eyes in terms of conditioning, and we don't let each other stray away far from where we need to be. So when one is slipping, the other one is getting you back in check, and that's basically our program. It's just making sure that everything is where it's supposed to be day in and day out. Um, I do, I incorporate a lot of variations of the exercises, being that, you know, I, I tend to, I tend to teach and, and, and do all those things at the same time as training. So I've, I've become relatively good at that. And, and, you know, Sean's development has been a proven factor to, to, to everything we incorporate here on a daily basis. Um, I remember when he won the Atlantic States, it was, uh, well, first of all, I remember when he first came to me. And, you know, we just kind of sat down and shot it out in terms of where he wants to go. And obviously, you know, his expectations are very, very high. And, uh, and I, if I'm, I'm that guy that I'll, I'll push you to it, you know what I mean? I don't, I'm not that guy to be like, nah, I, don't, I think you're a little crazy. I think you need to tone it down and live within your world. That's not me. I'm that guy to be like, you know what, if you want to go to hell, then I suggest we dress nice and cool because it's going to get hot because we're going to go down there together. Um, and it's been like that ever since we got started together. And, uh, you know, you go from winning an overall show, first MPC show, overall show, you know, to going into the USA's as a second show and taking second in a very stacked heavyweight lineup to all of a sudden now coming in at the, uh, coming in at the Nationals as a favorite. And uh, quite frankly, uh, I don't think nobody works harder than him. Um, of course, you know, I'm, I'm always going to be a little bit biased, but, you know, nobody, as far as I'm concerned, I've been around a lot of athletes, a lot of pros, and he's definitely putting in the work. And everything he gets on that day is because it's well-deserved. There's no coincidences here. There's no, there's no, you know, happy, happy stories. It's, it's all hard work at the end of the day that gets us to where we need to be. And uh, I assure you I will be sharing the stage at some point with Sean somewhere down the line, and uh, I'm expecting it to be now 2015. Yeah, guys, as for me, I'm not a big talker. You know, I just let my action speak for itself. And uh, I explained to Marco what my goal is, what my dreams are. And he bought into it just like I did. So I have no problem putting in hard work and that's what I show every time I step on stage. I never want to disappoint myself, him, or anyone else that believe in me. So, you know, here we are just trying to kill it as best as we can so we bring something better than what we did for the USA. And hopefully the outcome is what I'm expected, what I'm projecting. And then I'll be on that stage with the rest of those guys that, you know, are there having a great time. Also, would like to give a shout out to both my sponsors, uh, Gaspar Nutrition. Thank you guys for everything, all the supplements. It helped me a tremendous amount to get to where I'm at right now and in this uh, process to leading up to the national. And also, muscle leg, can't go wrong with that. It comes in handy so much, man. There's times where I ran out of meal and whatnot, and that's what helped me you know, to continue to go. So to both my awesome sponsors, appreciate you very much. To everyone else, my girl, Michelle, you know, MD, have to show you much love for MD, you guys. That's, uh, so far, being on the map, show me much love, and I have to give it back, so thank you very much. And for me, uh, thank you to MHP, uh, top dogs in the, in the, you know, top dogs in the industry. Uh, they're, they're, they're family to me, man, and I appreciate everything you guys have done for me. Uh, supplements have been nonstop, and you know, every every bit counts when it comes to this game. And you know, they've uh, they've definitely supported me ever since day one, coming up the ranks. And I, and I just want to extend myself out to you, and to my other sponsors, P28. 
uh, CTG controlling the game, new apparel line coming at you. We're going to be at the Arnold's, okay, and also to Heyday Footwear, number one shoes for training. And if you feel like going out, you go, you can keep them right on because they're stylish at the same time. So check them out and um, hit, hit us up on Instagram and Facebook, Marco Rivera 12, IFBB Pro Marco Rivera. And uh, whatever questions you got, whatever comments you got, I'd love to hear what you got to say. And to Adam Silver, thank you very much for an awesome shoot today. You made it all worth everything, man. Thank you.